did you guys see my new heating pad? Thank you, Jen. Again, I will probably thank you a bazillion more times. This is the most amazing thing because guess what this has? It has a, like a collar that goes up, and my worst tender points are right under the occipital bone, and then right down here on my shoulders and a little bit below on my shoulders. And this is just this is heaven. Hi, lovelies. There are days that I get emotional with you guys. There are days that I am laughing and there are days that I put out quality videos. And today is just not any of those things. I have a vlog from the Hayride and Haunted Mansion and dinner. My whole night with my best friends last night. I have a whole vlog this morning of going to Salty Pulse Festival, which is my absolute favorite festival of the year. It's all dogs. There are a bazillion of them, and I vlogged the whole thing. But while I was there, I received a phone call from my dad, and all I could hear was M. Pain. And so we had to rush him to the hospital. Yesterday, I was in enormous amounts of pain. If any of you guys follow me on Twitter, you will know that I was up all night with pain insomnia. Just insomnia because you're in so much pain. So I got up that morning and I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna power through it because I'm gonna be sick as a dog anyways. I just didn't want to miss it and Bella has so much fun. I put her in her sling and we just truck along and she loves it. She loves to sniff. Charles likes to go. My parents, both my parents love to go so we do it together. Mom and I decided that we were gonna go to the festival for just a little bit, quickly go through and then come back and see how my dad was. Then I received the phone call that time I had really we had walked a lot uh, I was in crazy pain it was a really nice day beautiful out and I just thought I'm gonna go home and crash but if any of you guys know me my number one priorities are my mom and dad and my dog family comes first and that's bottom line. I will do anything for my family and my mom and dad come their priority over anything that I'm going through. I was terrified when I got my the phone call from my dad. Um, the one thing about my dad is, and this is very interesting for people that are chronically ill because you know how we feel like we're whining and crying and being a burden and we're always talking about how we're sick well I don't do that in my family we don't really talk about that stuff like if you're not feeling well or you're in a lot of pain keep it to yourself like that's just kind of like the motto around here my dad never complains about pain he never complains about being sick broke his back he burned his whole hand in an oil fire like he has gone through a lot of pain and he will not say a thing. So when I got that phone call and he actually was saying that he was in pain, that means like my pain scale is here when I'm like gonna say something to someone, his is keep going. You can't see it because it's not in the shot, but up here. So I knew that he had to have been in enormous amounts of pain to call my phone. My mind goes straight into, you're strong, you need to be strong for this, you need to decide what's going on. I went and got my dad, put him in the car, and like sat him there and was like, stay here, we're going to get things together, and then we're going to take you to the hospital. We got him to the hospital. He was shaking so hard, it was as if he was having a seizure, which 
um, my dad and I are very similar pain wise um, so we kind of experience the same thing when I'm in severe amounts of pain I shake um, but this was like another level um, I also go from freezing cold to so hot and sweating and this is what he was going through and there was not much we could do he had told me not in a coherent way but I understand pain talk and he was having pain uh, right above the right around the rib cage which is exactly where your kidney is um, so I mean 15 years ago he had a kidney stone so he has had a history of it but it's been ages but I just that's immediately what I thought and um, so I told the doctor that and we went back it was ages and ages and sitting around and um, being uncomfortable and standing and pushing the wheelchair around and my dad's six foot tall my mom is maybe five one stretching she's a tiny tiny woman I'm five six she can't really handle my dad um, when he was, I mean, he was all over the place. So I was like carrying him, putting him into a wheelchair and making sure he wasn't falling. And of course, suppressing all the emotions that go around seeing the person you love most in the world going through this amount of pain. This is one of the most amazing things. No, this is the most amazing thing. First off, I have amazing friends. Second off, I have best friends through you guys. Um, anybody that's on my Facebook or Twitter or anything like that, you guys are there. You guys are on top of it. So I immediately said, after talking to my brother and sister-in-law, I said, please pray for my father. And I remember walking out of the hospital and saying, thank God I asked people to pray for him because I had actually forgotten to pray for him. When you're in that moment, sometimes it just slips your mind. But I had all these prayer warriors praying for him and I truly believe in prayer. It is, it's, I've seen amazing things happen from it and um, we are gifted with um, certain things and Prayer is one of them for me. A lot of people ask me to pray for them. I pray a lot. I pray in depth. I pray with discernment. And I truly believe in it. So I was so grateful that everyone was praying. Diana was sending out good energy and light and hope. Whatever it, it means to you. If you're not a Christian or you don't believe whatever. Whatever it is that you do to send out good thoughts or thinking of someone and hoping that the best for them, I appreciate it more than you could ever imagine. It is the greatest gift in the entire world. You could give me one billion dollars and it would not mean as much as putting out good light and hope and joy and prayers for my dad when I am terrified and it could be something horrible. So I came back, it was a five millimeter kidney stone, which terrified me. I cannot imagine that. I picture it and it literally sounds like a boulder. Like when he said five millimeters, I about had a heart attack. But I guess six millimeters is where the cutoff is. So he was just below that. So they gave him a they gave him painkillers and a bunch of medication through IV, and it immediately gave him relief, and he was. <laughs> I mean, you have to know my dad, but he went from not being able to speak, not being able to open his eyes. He was thrashing everywhere, shaking, going into these fits. To chatting and I was showing him videos of the puppy dogs today it was incredible he could talk to the nurses and the doctors and it was just a huge relief and just him feeling just 
relief of that pain so hopefully he will pass it naturally and the pain relief that he has now will continue but to say the least I am in I mean that's the perfect example I am in enormous amounts of pain I don't even want to actually think about it I'm just ignoring it the pain that is just radiating it radiating up my back I'm actually having fibro pain and just normal pain because I don't walk around a bunch. I don't stand in lines and go out and do all of these things. Like, this was extraordinary. I just, this was not expected. Needless to say, I could care less how much pain I'm in. I am just so thankful that my dad is okay. Well, I apologize. Um, I know you guys are going to yell at me for apologizing about this, but I apologize for not having a normal video out for you guys that is kind of cool. Um, some I know my videos aren't the greatest, so it's not like, oh wow, she's just talking with a video camera, but um, I do apologize because I don't know if you guys still want to see those vlogs, but I would love to show them to you, but they are from yesterday and then today. So I also have an Ipsy bag that I just got that I would love to open for you guys. Uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. all I have to give but you guys know that I'm like the mailman usually I'll get even like a one two minute video up for you guys <laughs> no matter if I'm like I've been throwing up non-stop I will try to make a video for you guys I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know because you guys are a huge part of my life and a lot of you are my best friends I came home my room is an utter mess. I'm actually going to show it to you, even though it's probably one of the most embarrassing things, but I'm actually going to show it to you because I'm real with you guys. This is as real as it gets. I was always like, to be successful, I need to, you need to have this and this and this. I show you guys what's going on. There's like lights and there's nothing behind me, but I'm going to show you what actually is going on in this room because it is terrifying and kind of just my room reflects exactly how I feel right now which is chaos disgusting and just revolting I guess I'll show you guys my room now it's gonna be a little slow gift from my best friend Lindsay that I absolutely love. person because you can't get your room together it's a real thing people with chronic illness we just don't have it together all the time and that's perfectly fine however <laughs> I literally if I hadn't been so emotionally and physically exhausted I probably would have broken into tears when I came in here in the comments down below please let me know if you would like to see those vlogs Give me a comment 
letting me know how you're doing today because I came into this room, I could have cried, I opened up my computer to try to figure out something that I could do for you guys today as a vlog or a video, and I opened up my browser, went to YouTube like I always do, saw that you guys had comments, and it literally just warmed my heart. I read all of your comments and it was the best part of my day and it meant so much to me and I love you guys so so much. You really do mean a lot to me. I mean Tiffy can tell you I mean, if she doesn't comment for a couple videos, I'm like, are you okay? Where are you? You know, I like, I just want to make sure everything's okay. I really connect with you guys and you guys really mean a lot to me. And every comment means so much to me and new viewers that comment. I mean, it takes a lot to watch a video and you don't have to comment, but the fact that you know, a new viewer comments, it, it really means a lot to me that they took the time to watch my video and then took the time to comment. I really hope that you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. Sending out X double O's to you guys. And as always, hopefully, rain or shine, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you so much. Bye. So that and um, shoot, what was the other thing? My fiber vlog is just crazy. But uh, yeah, that, that thought's gone forever. Bye bye, thought. Thank you, fiber vlog. Uh, Mary, she used to comment on my, my gather on Facebook. I'm like a stalker if you guys stop commenting. No, I just get worried that you guys are not doing well health wise. Or, you know, isolating and, you know, all the stuff I do. So, I would say long story short, but I just told you the whole long story, so that would be...